Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to learn about an artist by the name of Frank W. Benson and replicate part of his famous painting called Herons and Lilies. Benson was an American artist known for his realistic portraits, impressionist paintings, watercolors, and etchings. He lived from 1862 to about 1951 in Salem, Massachusetts. He was an avid bird watcher and fowl hunter and wild fowl hunter. At 16 years old, he actually wanted to be an ornithological, <laughs> sorry, ornithological illustrator, which is a fancy way of saying bird illustrator. Benson is known for his beautiful portraits, and he also taught art at the School of the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. This one we are doing today, I'm gonna show you, it's called Herons and Lilies. We're only gonna do part of it. We're going to do this middle bird right here. So he's like flying in a side position. Um, this painting shows his remarkable talent of capturing light in his paintings. Okay, a little bit about the great white heron. It is also known as the great white egret. They have all white plumage. It is only slightly smaller than the great blue or gray heron. Males and females look the same. It is not normally a vocal bird, but it does not give, it does give a low hoarse croak when disturbed. It is partially migratory. They breed in colonies in trees and close to large lakes with reed beds or other extensive wetlands. They eat mainly fish, frogs, and small mammals, reptiles, and insects. It will wait motionless for its prey or slowly stalk its victim. When it sees its prey, the heron strikes at its beak, lightning fast and snags it. So, like if this was a stork, they like shoot their whole neck down and grab their fish. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to start with the head. Let's see, where's my pencil? That's right there. Oh, it's right there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Okay, so you can do the background later. This is what it looks like with the background, or this is just an example of what you can do for the background. And these are just like different colors faded into each other. So like I said, we're only going to do the middle bird. We're going to start kind of in the middle to the right. And we're just going to do a curve like this. Little curve, it's gonna be kind of light to start so we can see the pastels. Now we're going to bring a line out, about right there. This is for the beak. Aaron? Yes? I can't quite see it. There. Neat. How's that? Good. Okay, so now we're going to bring it back like this, and it's gonna to come to about right here where we're gonna curl around like that. Okay. Now we're going to do a little zigzag pattern and bring that line down to about right here. So he kind of has a little crest. Now we're going to bring a line out of that little curve. So we're gonna come out, down, and over. Then we're gonna, what? I can't really see that. No. Okay. And then we can bring it a little further and then we're gonna go to, to, to the zigzag line and follow that same line to the same point. 
They're up there. Both, both of those lines are going to kind of change up right here. Okay, so we're going to come back up here to the beak and we're going to do a line that comes out of the top and a line that comes out of the bottom. They don't connect though. And then we're going to do a little curve that comes out and around like that. Are you going to be using the Junior Art Pastels? Yes. I got those. Nice. Lots of people have them now. Okay. So they're, both of these lines are going to change up a little bit. We're going to do a line that comes down like this. And then the other line is going to go up and curve over. It's a big line. So that's going to be kind of the, oh, the Escobar is already in here. We have one more person getting on here. Okay, Emmy, we'll, we'll wait a sec for you to catch up. We just, we started with the head and we did the little curve and then we did the beak and the little head head feathers. You can, ju I'll just hold it here for a minute and you can copy it. Yeah, and my bird kind of looks like it's choking on something. <laughs> That's okay. <clears throat> Look at this thing. That's totally great. That's kind of how they look sometimes. Okay, so we're going to keep going here. Down where we did this bottom line, we're going to do a curve that comes out like this. Did y'all see my dog Nina? She got a haircut. Can you say hi? <laughs> She's buzzed. She needed it. I know. Okay, and now we're going to do that same line from here, but we're going to start a little bit in. So it's going to be in here, and it's going to go up about right there. And then we're going to bring this line down and then this line up diagonally. Okay. What? Okay. So we're going to do the feathers. We're going to start with one feather like this. And then after we do that feather, the next feather is going to be a little bit taller. And then we're going to make them get smaller and smaller. Can you hold it? Until we're just doing little bumps and we're going to come down to about right there. Can you put it down a little bit? You can't really see the top. Oh, the top. Yeah, there you go. Right now, it kind of looks like a pterodactyl. It does. Okay, now we're going to go back out a little bit with those bumpy lines to about right there. Now we're going to do the same steps for this wing. We're going to do that feather, the bump, then a taller feather, and then those bumpy lines. 
and the feathers that go up. Okay, and then for the tail, that's great, that's perfect. For the tail, we're going to do a curved line that comes out like this and out like that. So two little curved lines. Now we're gonna do the feet. So the feet, we're gonna start with a line in here that goes up, two lines that go up like that. And they kind of curve up and then they're gonna go down and back up. And we're repeating the same step on both sides. And then we're gonna do a curve around and follow that same path, that same pattern back. And then I'll hold it up in a second. We're gonna do that same for the other side. Now, we're going to do, oops. now we're going to do a line in the middle to divide two toes and then a little bump like that. And now we're gonna, now we're gonna connect the top of the two feet with a little curved line. We're just gonna connect those feet on the top. Okay, now we can finish the tail. We're gonna do a little messy line that comes out and around through the feet. We're not gonna get them on the feet though. We're gonna go past the feet like that. Okay, so we're done with the general shape. Now I'm going to go back in and do some more details. I'm just going to do a little dot for the eye and fill it in with our pencil up there in that little curved spot. And then we're gonna do a line to divide the top of the beak from the bottom. Okay, now we're going to do the little shadow lines. So the shadow lines, we're gonna, this is really light and I'll hold it up if y'all can't see in a sec. We're just gonna do a curve. It's gonna come down and like that. Can y'all see that okay? Not really. Okay, now we're going to bring that same line from the bottom up and it's gonna to go to that same location. Basically doing the same, same shape, just from the bottom. Can you hold it up to where the eye is? Cause I didn't get the shape that the eye is in. Yeah, it's just a little dot in the oval shape that we made. Okay, I got it. Okay, so these are gonna be some guidelines. We're going to go in here and do some shading. Just a little bit of shading up there. We're gonna do some shading down here, a little bit up here, down on the chest, just little guidelines here and there. Going to do a little bit here. And here. These are just to help spread the shadow around when we do the white. And then we're not gonna fill in the whole inside here, but we're just gonna do some little zigzags of shading here and there. Okay. 
like that. And maybe a little bit up here on the neck. Like that. So even though it's only white, it's going to be a little tricky because of the shadows and stuff. But I'll take it slow. So we're going to start coloring. We're going to start with the beak. So the beak, I'm gonna get my orange pastel and I sharpened it with a just with a plain pencil sharpener. You can do that too if you want it to be. But you you don't have to. Is this it's the same a, color? It's a little bit yes, that's that's the orange. It's a little bit easier if you sharpen it because of the beak, the skinny part of the beak. So we're just gonna go in there and fill in the, the beak and the oval part around the eye. Is it this? Yes. I think, no, it's like a, I think that that might be it, yeah. Yeah, that's it, Campbell. I think that's it, Hunter. <clears throat> yes, that's it. Okay. So after we go through and fill that in, we're going to get our gray or silver, whichever one will work. And we're gonna go in there and just do a light cover over the orange. And it just, it makes it not so like crazy vibrant because it's not, it's not supposed to sh um, show that much. I mean, it you're supposed to still really see the color, but it, it shouldn't be too poppy. So, <laughs> yeah, poppy. <laughs> so we're going to go with our white now. And we're just going to fill in the whole bird. We're going to go over the pencil lines that we did and it makes a shadow. See that? So we're just going to fill in. I have a paper that makes the white pop out because it's not the same white on the paper. So you can kind of see that the white popping out there. <laughs> nice. I just sharpened it by just rubbing it on a paper towel. That'll work too. So we're just gonna fill in the whole bird with our white. Y'all, can y'all see how my paper is a different color than my white pastel? So the white really shows up. There. And we're also going to do out here. Just going to do the whole thing. And try not to get on the pencil because it rubs in and it makes black. Well, with the pencil, that's actually good. You see how I went over the pencil shape shadow, and it may it's supposed to make the shadow. So th that's that's okay when it does that. Do we go over the legs with the white too? The lead? The legs. No, not the legs, but the whole, everything else. And it's okay if you already did because we're just gonna go back with black anyway. Just do your best not to. I did it. Okay, so there's our bird. We still have a lot to do though. I know it doesn't really look like it, but we do. It's kind of, the white is kind of like a cream. Yeah, it, it, because of the paper, it makes it look like a cream. 
Okay, we're going to go right now with a very light blue and along the edges of this this line. Is this it? We're just going to do a faint line. Yes. Just going to do it's like a sky blue. Just going to do some faint lines in here. Can y'all see that blue that I did? Not really. Nope. How about now? I can. Do you see the little lines of blue? It's very light. Very yes, light. I see it now. Like as light as you can get it. We're gonna do just some little guidelines of blue. We're gonna go back with our white and trace over them. Blend them together with the white. It should look real pretty. And then we're gonna get a little bit of violet, actually. I know it sounds crazy, but we're gonna get a little bit of this violet color. And we're gonna come in here. I've never used it, so it's brand new to me. Cool. So we're just gonna do... Could you zoom in? Yes, so I'll bring it closer. Here. Can you see it? They're really faint. It, it just do, look, you can just follow what I'm doing. Just do little curves. And then do some curves down here. And just do, these are just guidelines. They're supposed to make it look not just white. Now we're going to go back in and fade those in too. Oh, it's really hard to see them. If we were in person, you would be able to see them better. But on the screen, it's tricky. It's much, much harder. Yeah. Still doing my white. It's okay. We'll wait for you right here. We'll let y'all catch, catch up a little. What? I was going to bring my dog up so that you could see her, but she's not oh. <laughs> Okay. So we're going to get our black now. Okay, this guy, y'all gotta pay attention for this part. You gotta be very light or it'll, it could mess up the, the picture. So we're just going to go in with very light black lines, very light. You see, since black is so dark, even the lightest shows up. We're just gonna do some lines. Like that. Then we're gonna go back with the white. Don't go like this. We don't, don't do this on the black. We're just gonna go down and go back to the top and go down. Just gonna keep going down. We're not gonna go back up and down. We're just gonna keep going the same way. I'm gonna go like that. And now with our white, we're just gonna go in here and blend it even more, just kind of Go in there right now. Just do a little like this. Get some shadows in here. Okay, now I'm gonna get my black one more time. And I'm gonna just fill in the legs and feet. I know it's gonna kind of pop right now, but we're gonna go back with white and tone it down a little bit. Whoa, the black is really showing now. I know. Where do we put the silver? The silver? Yes. What silver? The silver that we used earlier. Let's see, did I use silver? The no. silver or the gray? Oh, 
for the just for the more of the little guidelines, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. So after we do the black on the legs, we're gonna go back over with white. And it just it tones it down a little bit. It's still real real poppy. But that's how they are. I mean So, for the background, like I said, y'all can, can look at this. When you go back and watch it after you put it on YouTube, um, it's going to be, um, you can go to the, the last part right here and pause it and just look at the background and do it. Or you can just go off your own, your own background, whatever you want. So, I hope you all had fun doing it today. So don't forget, don't forget to sign your name. And we are done.